You know, every once in a while, there's a new product that hits the hunting industry that we're excited about. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We got Daryl from Velvet Antler Technologies with us, and he has got some awesome products that we've been testing over this past year and seeing great results. And we're going to have Daryl talk about those products and how they're used. Okay, thanks, Pat. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Nicole. So real quick, we'll just go through them. Um, Fanlock is a springtime, spring turkey. Sometimes you have fall hunts, but mainly turkey time um, in, the, in the spring. And that will cure turkey tails in five days. So you just simply spray it on and uh, let it sit. It'll cure up a turkey tail in five days. So. I really like this because it's simple to use. I mean, you don't have to, you know, spend all that money, take your turkey tail to a taxidermist, and you can do it yourself. Correct. And, you know, just simply, you know, you told me just all you got to do is remove a little of the, the meat around that base of the tail, spray this on there five times, and boom, you got a perfect fan. And uh, I really, the other thing I picked up on is you told me use a coat hanger and just some office clips, and that'll hold everything in place while it dries. Great. That was an awesome tip. <laughs> but we've been using this and had great results. We do all our turkey fans now ourselves here at home. So fan lock, awesome. What else you got? So hide lock, this is a fall time. So this is really great for taking up to the, to the north country. A lot of people go mm -hmm. up north early time and getting those hides back on airplanes and, and everything is, is really a challenge. Or even you know out west, antelope season really, really works well on antelope. So essentially this will take place of 25 pounds of salt. Wow, um, one you, bottle. One bottle. Actually, you can some some smaller hides. You can do two animals with one bottle. Okay. So, so it's a pretty good, pretty good uh, value for your money, right? Um, and this simply, you spray on the hide, roll it up, keep it as cool as possible, as best you can, and it'll <clears> keep that hide perfect shape until it gets back to your taxidermist. That's wow. super important. Yeah. You know, we took this up north to northern Canada with us where we didn't really have a freezer, no way to really cool down our bear hide when we were spring bear hunting. And Pat used the bottle of hide lock and he sprayed it down really good and it was absolutely perfect. It preserved it, I mean, wonderfully and able, like you said, in order for us to get it back home and get it to the taxidermist, it was awesome. So trophy clean. This is made for all taxidermy mounts, um, cleans conditions has a UV protectant in it now as well for all of your mounts that are on the wall. So helps helps keep bugs away from your mounts as well up to about six months at a time. So this, this is just a perfect thing for all of us hunters to have to keep our trophies in perfect tip top shape. Super you know important. <laughs> <laughs> Super important. I gotta tell you guys, we had a bug infestation problem earlier this spring at our production facility here in Minnesota. And we started seeing all these little white moths flying around. Mm -hmm. I called Daryl and he said, hey, try the trophy clean. That should take care of the problem. And so we went up and we literally took all the heads down, sprayed them really good liberally, brushed it in. And it also helped clean them as well. But it helped get rid of the bugs. And now we're bug free again. So I appreciate the trophy clean. Well, I like the fact, too, with the UV protectant you said in it, because, I mean, how many mounts do we have hanging nowadays in homes with the windows, sun, and they just fade so quickly? Yeah. And that's awesome. That's a cool yep. product. Yeah. Yep, it is. So then we'll move on. We've got our Velvalock here. This Velvalock is made. This is actually my first one. This, this was my baby. This is where, <laughs> where everything started. Um, Velvalock is made to preserve velvet. So after you've killed an animal, within 24 hours, you want to spray it. Um, saturate the velvet really well and you can just leave it sit out and the reason I designed it to sit out was I was a guide in Nevada and I was 90 miles from any taxidermist plus the hike in and hike out right mm -hmm. so you spray this velvet lock in there at 80 90 degrees you spray it on those antlers and you'll kill you'll cure a nice set of antlers in about 48 hours Wow! it'll be completely done and cured and the velvet will be ready for the taxidermist when you get it home Wow so you don't even have to take it to the taxidermist to get freeze-dried correct that's a great tip. I mean, talk about valuable, because we get this question all the time. Mm -hmm. What do you do to preserve when you're on early season hunts, right. especially up in a remote wilderness where you shoot something in velvet, and there's just, you can't put your horns in a freezer right. and then try to transport them back to a freeze dryer. This is the solution. Use the velvet lock. I love that. And yep. I can't wait to, to really actually <laughs> go hunting and shoot something <laughs> in velvet. <laughs> but yeah, next time, we're using this when we go on a, an early season hunt. Yep. And then we have our Bone Bright. This is a Bone Bright kit. This is a degreaser whitener kit. They come together. You can buy them separately. Some people like to buy them separately. Uh, they use one or the other. 
but it does come as a kit. Comes with a towel and a brush in the kit and a pair of gloves. Um, this one kind of came out of necessity for New Zealand, actually. Um, in New Zealand, they can't buy any type of peroxides there unless they're licensed. So really? it costs them to do a euro mount down there. It costs them four to five hundred dollars to do a euro mount. Wow. So the guys there, my distributor asked me, hey, can you think about some way you can get us something that we can do euro mounts with? So that's where I designed this. I, I spent a year going through it and doing a lot of beta testing with a lot of taxidermists um, and, and made it so the degreaser is a sprayable. The whitener is a sprayable. So after you're done with your boiling process, you spray the degreaser on and let it, let it sit overnight, 24 hours, then spray your whitener and you can spray it each day until you get the desired whiteness. Um, and, and I do want to stress, this is a do-it-yourself home kit. Okay, I, I'm not trying to take away from what a taxidermist can do. Right. A taxidermist has a different process altogether, right? He's going to do it. It, it. it may be a better process, but we've had such good results with this and such positive feedback that for the do-it-yourself guy and the guy doing it at home that just wants to do his kid's buck or you know has something mm -hmm. nice and small he wants to do or even big ones we got a lot of people do really big stuff with it too but um that's that's what it was designed for and it just it, it's done really well and people are li loving it yeah you know as you can notice that the bottle's pretty much empty in this <laughs> one because this is our bottle and we've been using it both uh -huh. of these skulls that are on the table in front of us have both been done with the bone bright product and we love it because again you know, it's a do-it-yourself process. You can do it at home, and you can get great results with mm -hmm. it. So, I mean, this is, in my mind, this is one of the flagship products in Velvet Antler Technologies lineup. But Well, uh, I think because European mounts are getting so popular nowadays, right? Yeah, like, yes. it's, they're yeah. very popular. And so for someone to be able to do it at home and be able to do it themselves, and what a fun thing, like you said, if, you, if your kid shot a deer or, what, like, to do that together, you know? Like, that's pretty cool. Right. So. You know, we get this question a lot, and I'm going to just throw it out there real quick. So a Euro mount in velvet, right? Because you're seeing a lot yeah. of that now. Yeah. And, and they're really difficult because you have to boil the head. You have to do all the different things. So I just want to throw out there a little quick how-to process type of thing. You always want to do your boil. Then you want to clean the skull. Then you want to do your velvet lock afterwards. Oh, okay. So velvet lock draws itself to moisture. That's what it's designed to do, mm -hmm. right? So it, designed, it, it goes to the membrane where it's moist. If you've boiled it and got any steam on the outside of the antler where the velvet is, it will draw itself to that moisture and it won't penetrate the membrane like it's supposed to. So always remember that. Great tip. Cover the velvet, boil, clean, then velvet lock, then whiten. That's, That's awesome. The steps. So, and then you get some new products here. These are head haulers. This is an elk. This will haul your elk out. And this simple device attaches to your backpack with these straps and goes around the skull. Correct. And then you can lock this thing in and haul out your, you know, your elk head or your whitetail or, or whatever you have. Mule deer, sheep. We've had a lot of people use it for sheep. It'll adapt to any backpack, anywhere that there's a hook, loop, or buckle. So essentially, I mean, on a backpack, right, there's a, there's a loop that's a buckle. Yeah. So you can just take this, you Snap clip it. it through, and now you can cinch that thing down. Um, these straps run through top to bottom. So they're pulling on each other. They're not pulling on the webbing. The webbing's strictly here for padding purposes. And uh, yeah, you put all your meat in your pack, put this over the top of it, cinch it down, and this acts as a secondary cinch to hold all your Condenses stuff Condenses everything your pack. together. So it really helps you walk out for a long haul. So yeah, that's it. What a great idea on all these products. You know, if you guys are interested in checking out more of the Velvet Antler Technologies product line, head to their website. It's velvetantlertechnologies.com.